FBI team investigation, shady companies taking college graduates' hard-earned money in student loan scams. Now, Ryan Kath actually tracked down some of the companies in California to get answers so that you don't fall victim. Like thousands of other college graduates, Amelia Manny began her career digging out of debt. Just over $100,000. $100,000. Yep. But then a company called United Advisors Group offered to lower the BU alum's monthly payments by hundreds of dollars. So this is like the whole agreement. Amelia signed the contract, but $1,500 later, she got some shocking news from her student loan provider. They said not a single thing has gone through and that my loans are actually in deferment. That's scary to think that in three months you've given that much money and not a single dime of it has gone to your loans. Trisha Muzzerall knows the feeling. I was very discouraged. I was worried. I was like, so where is my money going? In search of a higher paying job, Trisha pursued a business degree at Middlesex Community College. That was the payment plan that was agreed upon. And she signed up for lower loan payments through Consumer Financial Assistance Group. But after forking over $500... They paid nothing to my student loan provider. I couldn't get them to respond back to me. It was like they just folded up and disappeared. The company that ripped off Trisha is supposed to be operating out of this business park in Orange County, California. We just checked it out. There's no sign for the company anywhere, and nobody we talked to had even heard of it. We're looking into a story about the number of consumer complaints against your company. Oh, no, I think you guys out of here. After calls and emails went unanswered, the I-team actually found people working at the company that took Amelia's money inside the Southern California office building. You guys need to get up. Give our call, please. How many people have you guys ripped off? The guy in charge couldn't get rid of us fast enough. How big of a problem is this? This is a huge problem right now, not just for families in Massachusetts, but all across this country, and one that is going to continue to grow. Attorney General Maura Healy recently uh, set up a student loan assistance unit to crack down on debt relief companies and let borrowers know they should be able to negotiate a payment plan without spending a dime. Because this is something that they can get for free instead of paying some shady operator to do who at the end of the day isn't actually going to deliver and is only going to put them in a worse place. It's just disgusting to think that people could do that to somebody who's worked so hard. The AG's office helped Trisha get a full refund. Same for Amelia who now shares this advice. I definitely would not go through any of those companies no matter what they say to you. The federal government says these are some of the signs a student loan debt relief company could be trying to scam you. Pressure to pay upfront fees, promises of loan forgiveness, demands of signing a power of attorney document, or requests for personal info like your student aid PIN number. For the I-Team, Ryan Kath, WBZ News.